Jessica! <sighs> Ashley. Are you okay? I think so. But I'm dizzy. Everything is foggy. I'm so sorry I let you go alone. It was selfish. This is all my fault. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. I'm so glad you're safe. <sighs> Handcuffs? No good. Thanks. I found them outside. I was so worried about you. Everything suddenly went dark. I must have been knocked out. When I came to, I was handcuffed to this beam. That's horrible. Who would do something like that? Bill. Bill did this? You know about him? Dad told me. You met your father? Yeah. He told me a little. He was my assistant and is absolutely brilliant. But he betrayed me. He tried to steal the research we did on this island. Bill tried to steal another? You knew Bill, too? I did. He used to work with Richard. I never expected him to turn up here. I ran into him right after I left you. He said that he'd take me to Richard. I shouldn't have trusted him. He knocked me out somehow once we got to the mansion. I had no idea. But wait, Dad said he caught Bill. Regardless, I'm so glad you finally met Richard. Yeah, I found him. I asked him about another, and about Mom. He told you what happened? Yeah, we talked about it. It's a right pity that Jessica is either concussed or drugged and not fully thinking things through because this conversation. So that's my dad, huh? What do you mean? Where is he? I was with him earlier, but he went off to do something else. Do something else? He left you alone? Yeah, he said he had to go start another. Jessica, about Dad, he... he definitely cares way more about his research than us. That's not... He said so. He told me he has to finish another. For Mom. Richard said that. Really? Yeah. Please, please, Jessica, be more forthcoming with your doubts. <laughs> Did you know about another? Not really. Your father mentioned it a few times. Something about using it to save people from painful memories. Yeah, he told me that too. He said Bill stole the keys he needs to start it. So, we split up. I went looking for the keys while he looked for you. But he clearly didn't find you. Ashley. I found a newspaper article about what happened to mom. It said, it said dad was a suspect. I, you know the dream I always have? It's about the night mom was murdered. Oh, Ashley. That's why, isn't it? That's why you never talked about mom or another. 
You're right. Why was Dad a suspect? Listen to me. Richard found Sayoko that night. And because he was at the scene of the crime, he was a suspect. Right. He kept telling them he was innocent. With no other evidence, they released him. They couldn't find another lead. So the case went unsolved. The false accusations devastated Richard. I confronted him as soon as he was released from custody. I asked outright if he killed Sayoko. He looked me right in the eyes and answered without a hint of guilt. He said, absolutely not. Mm. He told me that too, that he didn't kill her. But... What is it? He didn't look me in the eyes. It's hard to trust someone who acts like that. Oh, sweetheart. I'm just... Over all this, he isn't my dad. Can't we both just leave here? Together? I'll get those cuffs off you as soon as I can. There's gotta be something I can use around here. Ashley, wait. Please, give Richard one more chance. He can help. Why should I? At the very least, he can get me out of these handcuffs. But what about you? I can't leave you here, I just found you! I'll be fine. Now go. N no I don't trust... I do. Please, Ashley. Believe in him. He's my older brother. And your father. Okay? But I... Ugh. Okay. Once we get out of here, we'll go home. The three of us. Yeah. You'll be safe here, right? I'll be right back with Dad. Yes, I'll be fine. Sayoko, protect her. Please. I'm so glad you found Jessica. Me too, but I don't think she could see you. She's an adult. I'm used to it by now. I guess. More importantly, we can't let our guard down. You're right. I can't believe Bill did that to Jessica. But I'll worry about it later. We need to find my dad. Where could he have gone? I think he was heading toward the courtyard. Okay, now we know that there is an additional room up the stairs and, like, in the courtyard, but I don't think I have the key to get there, and I suspect that's where the game is going to direct me next when I inspect the door. At the very least, I sincerely hope that my having activated the DAS isn't going to be the key to get me into the room. If it is, I might have to immediately turn around. No good. It's locked. Ashley, look. There's a ladder on the other side of the door. You're right. Where do you think it leads? That's the door to my great-grandfather's room. Okay, yep. Once again, I'm just getting ahead of the plot, and I forgot that we are in a new chapter. I was not expecting uh, Chapter 4 to take only 30 minutes, but I should have really remembered that because the original game 
had that same kind of pacing too, like especially towards the end. Knowing what I know, I I see what they are doing here. I suspect we're going to get a new entry somewhere in the next 30 to 60 minutes. Oh, wait, I missed one? Okay, I, I back to the character screen. Oh yeah, so with regard to uh, him getting whisked away to his dad's room when he started thinking about the murder, I suspect, eh, and this is just having a little fun with metaphysics, uh, if... We're dealing... We're, I think we're dealing with... Hmm, are we dealing with Cartesian dualism here? I, I think so, because ghosts. Ghosts are implied. D may not have a body, but his spirit still exists, so he's an entity in this particular universe. So, because he is made specifically of metaphysical stuff, or, you know, ectoplasm, as it were, uh, I believe that him focusing on his dad's murder is what drew him to the place. Almost like his thoughts define his essence and because he started thinking he was just in the room. It's like I think therefore I am taken to the logical extreme something to that degree. Now I suspect if I'm smart well I think this is where we combine the keys. I just don't know how, how we're going to... How can we open it? This design... She beat me to it. The other room's doors had one bird, but this one has two. Yeah. Two birds holding a silver and gold clover in their beaks. Maybe the key to this room is... Two keys! You're going to give me item combining this late in the game? I mean, at that point, that's just screaming I'm a plot element. Like, if you introduced it way earlier... Yes! Yep. Yep. Yes! Whoa, check out the view. Where's the ladder? Shouldn't it lead to this room? What's wrong, Dee? This is my great-grandfather, Uncle Henry, and my father. Grandfather, do you know who I am? I remember. My father brought me here. My great-grandfather was asleep in the bed. He was sleeping so peacefully. But as we got closer, he opened his eyes and looked at us. He smiled but it was sad. Father took his hand and squeezed it. He was crying. 
That was the first time I ever saw him cry. Oh, D. We have to track down your dad. Yeah. Where's the ladder we can take back down? Now, I recognize some of the puzzles in this room, and it is finally time to discuss one of my favorite things that happened on the DS, and a puzzle that I solved almost entirely by accident, as did many people. Um, so in the room that this zoetrope was originally in, because at this point I've all but confirmed that the layout has completely changed between trace memory and, well, another code recollection, is that there was a puzzle with woodblock uh, ink stamps, I think? And so the solution to the puzzle that nobody realized was to close your DS, open it back up, and then close it again and open it once more. And that was just the most innovative thing that I'd ever seen done on the DS because I don't think there are any other games that take advantage to hook into <laughs> the uh, event function that handles the screen closing. It's just brilliant. Like, I am, I will gladly gush over the original puzzles in the game. Um, but let's let's not get too distracted here. Okay, so I need to look around. The ladder is almost certainly under this desk. Yes, it is. Um, so we're going to need to get this desk to move. That's going to be the entire puzzle in this room. And for some reason, I guess film and the zoetrope is going... Is that how you pronounce that? Zoetrope? Zoetrope? Note to future self, look it up. And here is a space where I pronounce it correctly. Zoetrope. Thank you, future me. And now let's start examining the room. Wait, wait! Ashley. Hey. By the way, D. This is... Yeah. Huh. Well, if I had to guess, even at the time, like... I don't know if you could get, like, movie theater movies you know, like acquire their reels to be projected. So I suspect that a lot of this is, you know, home movies. And that's more likely something that happened, I guess, especially in a wealthy family like this. I mean, but then again, in a wealthy family like this, maybe they could have afforded to buy some of the movie reels at the time. Eh, maybe I'll look that up later. And if so, uh, then there might be some stuff on screen about that right now.
Hey, wait! <laughs> huh? Hey. Hmm, I would have figured at some point this would stabilize. You know, so that it stops, like, uh, processing around like that, but maybe it's not supposed to. I mean, it would at the correct RPM, but the game doesn't want us to do that, I guess. Huh. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is I know that the desk is the puzzle, and it's the one thing I haven't checked. So I'm going to save that for next time. Uh, this will be the end, probably, of Session 6 Part 2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed Part 1 uh, after I'm done editing that as well. If you're new to the channel, of course, uh, like and subscribe. And, of course, I'm looking forward to any feedback in the comments section below. And with that, I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody.